Good morning. I know I'm wearing the same clothes as the last video you watched, but it's been a few days because we've had some days off. And I'm fully aware that I'm going to look like a tramp, but I swear down, I've washed these clothes, they've dried, and it's a new day. Liar. I'm not lying. Honestly. So, what is the plan of action today? Plan of action today is to drive to the north, find an ATM because we're absolutely broke, we've got no money, we're in debt to our resort, and then go on a boat trip. Oh, well that was pretty brief. <laughs> 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 we um, have some beaches along to blast there. You can only get to by boat. So to hire the boat, it's 1,500, and we're going to go in pursuit of a fisherman who's willing to take us. Weather is on form. Yesterday, guys, we didn't make a video, but it was absolutely raining and grey all day. So it's good to see that today is back to its usual best. Ready to go? Ready. Let's you look it. the part. <laughs> I hate these helmets with the mouthpiece. I like having the open face. I feel restricted. I don't know what it is. Well, you look the part. <laughs> our boatman instantly. Absolutely made up to be able to have some money today. And here he is. We are food. Got the speaker. <laughs> got, the, got the tunes going. <laughs> I don't know how this song goes. So we just this, climbed. This boat's enough for like a big old group. And it's 1,500 for the boat, so if there's a lot of, yeah, crossing off and to do this trip. But all the beaches that we go to, you can't get to them by land, you have to go by boat. So I'm not sure that the person who's taken us speaks one word of English. No idea, because he hasn't said a word to us. Fitness friend who spoke for him. It doesn't matter though, the most and important thing is we give the, the money to the locals. Exactly, That's the most important so. thing. I've been in the water about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> We love a dog. Came all the way to the curb to see the little wolf. Look, Look how happy she is. Getting a little head scratch, licking your leg. <laughs> Look at this.
find some uh, jellyfish in the water. Yeah, there's some pink jellyfish. They're like clear with pink bits going through them. And I don't trust them, so I'm not getting in. But there's like three. I, I had my feet in and I looked down and there was like three close, so I just got out straight away. It was away. quite quite big though. Biggest they're, ones I've ever seen. They're not small. Like they're, big, they're about the size of your hand. Maybe a bit smaller than your hand. But the thing is, Chris said, oh, if they're dangerous, then they wouldn't bring them to the beach that they're at. But at the same time, jellyfish are everywhere. You can't avoid a beach just because there's going to be jellyfish there. And at the same time, we went to El Nido and we went to the lagoons, the big and small lagoon. And there's box jellyfish in the big and small lagoon and they don't tell you when you do the trip. So it's one of them things that like we asked them is there box jellyfish here? And they said, yeah, there can be. Yeah, there, it's known in the summer months that there's box jellyfish in the big and small lagoon. So obviously like that's extremely dangerous. And if it's not something that you get told in an extremely touristy area like that, and I don't fancy my chances in a place where tourists don't go. So, best to be safe than sorry, and I'm not gonna go in the water. <laughs> I value my life. You are. I oh, know. Upgraded to the chairs. <laughs> Free upgrade. Free upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Except I can't sit in mine because it keeps trying to throw me down. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, if you if you fell back, I would absolutely <laughs> die right, right. I, I really swear. feel like I'm I'm trying I'm trying to balance. <laughs> I will die. If you do it and I get it on video, I will swear to God I will post it everywhere. <laughs> but you know, we're gonna try uh, a buco. He's got a coconut so going to give it a whirl. I don't like coconut and I feel like I'm back at the Batanga stage in my life where I try it about five times just to be absolutely certain that I don't like it. <laughs> so I've tried it a couple of times. We're going to try it again because it's really good for you and it's one of those tropical moments like there's nothing better than being in a tropical place and having a coconut in your hand and sitting by the sea and just like living your best life. But I just don't like them, so it's all for show and I just feel like a fraud if I have a coconut in my picture and I don't <laughs> like them. So I really, really am done trying my best here. I'm trying. Mm. I like you, yeah. I always, I, I have always liked, liked it, always. Mm -hmm. What I don't like is the jelly. jelly. I can't eat the jelly. But the taste is really nice. Okay, give us a try. <laughs> Morning. Well, tell us that you like it. Don't like it still. Guys, she's never going to be Filipino. Wait, I'll give it another go. <laughs> oh yeah, because that's going to change tasting one go. You know, I might have just got a bad batch. We'll try it from the north or the coconut. No? No. She's failed the test guys. She's never really going to be sorry, Filipino. Oh. Bye then guys. Bye. <laughs> See you soon. I think he's uh, coming back in about 20 minutes. Well, he we did. Well, well, yeah. In the meantime, this kid's just gonna entertain us all. <laughs> hey, we're just out here chilling, still waiting for our boat to come back, take us to the next place. Still waiting for Cody to go in the water. <laughs> still waiting for Chris to admit that I am the better looking one out of the two of them. <laughs> You'll be waiting a long time. <laughs> So there's loads of another boat turn up with more people in the water. So they even more people now making us look like idiots. <laughs> Yo, you look like an idiot anyway. That's not very nice, is it? I'm sick you. Mate, the guys can hear everything you're saying. Do you know what they can't hear? The what? rubbish you come out with when you don't record yourself. Which is nothing. Well, I don't say anything off camera. I say it all on camera. What? Admit You're such it. a liar. Am I though? Yes. It's a boat. It's not ours. 
we could be here for like three hours for all we know the guy spoke another language we have no idea what we said we just agreed he could have been like can i come and pick you back up in three days and we're like of course you can <laughs> we have to take that canoe yeah. the kayak and just kayak back up work Alright, next island, let's hit this. Alright, goodbye Aurelio. <laughs> Adios, little cove. Next please. Next please, we don't know where we're going. We literally haven't even told them what we want to do or what we want to see. We're just like... Can we get on your boat? Please take us somewhere nice. Alright then, let's do it. Let's do it. So, at the end of the day, there's no point in us telling them what we want to see because these people live here, so they're going to know what there's worth seeing here. They're going to take you to the, what they think is the best, aren't they? So, so yeah, on, onwards and upwards. It's a lagoon! Tingong Dagat Wetlands! I can't wait to fly because I've seen pictures of this place online and it looks wicked so I'm really excited to fly. Fly, fly, fly. Couldn't agree more. This looks crystal clear. I don't see why you can't swim in here. No jellyfish? What do you think? Your dip. It's so warm and I'm star fishing waiting for the drone and a massive eagle just flew right over me while I was in the it water. It was huge. It was massive and it was so low down and I was like <gasps> and as I went to say it's an eagle Chris was like is that an eagle and I was like yes started flapping about trying to I look thought he was gonna it take the drone off. <laughs> it was massive and it was so low down and it literally went over my head flew over me while i was lying in the water it was amazing absolutely amazing but it's really nice uh it doesn't say you can't swim so i hope it don't like just start melting or something but, i think um, it's okay it's like sea water but it's really warm because it's very shallow it's like a little swimming pool like a little bath there is also a, a beach just just across on as the well. other side i don't think so, we can get there from here though we have to dock at the beach i think 
Yeah, it, there's a bit of a communication barrier with the people who were taking us on the trip because they went to head back towards the, the port before we came here. We paid 1,500 for the boat to do island hopping, but uh, we know it's beach hopping. So it's like around the coast going to the beaches that you can't get to by land. But I think they were ready to take us back after the first stop. So we had to show them this and then they t turned the boat around and they came up here. So we're gonna have to show them the map and ask them to show us where they're gonna take us next. Otherwise, we've paid a lot of money to go to two places. So what we should have done before we got on the boat, on the boat, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> What we should have done before we got on the boat was the guy who spoke English who organised for us to go with this guy. We should have asked him to be clear about where he was going to take us and how many places. And I think we've learnt a little lesson here, haven't we? <laughs> that next oh, time. island hopping is kind of self-explanatory, well, really. Yeah, but he doesn't speak a word of English, so island hopping in another language makes no difference to someone who doesn't understand what island hopping is in their language. So it's just a very natural environment. And it actually says here yeah, something about... Um, Earth Foundation, Mother Earth Foundation, Department of Environmental and Natural Resources. So I think that it's probably got a lot of like wildlife and like natural habitat. It's things. really nice though. Really nice. This is the one that I wanted to come to the most. It is nice. <laughs> But I don't know why You hit the road But you don't realize I'm on the back when you're around I won't think twice when you're a corner Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I won't be there I'm on the back when you're around She's off. It feels good to be back out of the sun We're in the shade. So tired. We haven't eaten all day today. I know. I had a small banana this morning. And the but time, it doesn't really make any difference to your life. Time is now 20 past 5. We've only just started to eat now. Yeah, I'm literally starving. I'm absolutely starving. I'm famished. <gasps> Look at this. Thank you. Ooh, Can I please good. have a calamansi juice or something? Thank you. Get in my belly. This is definitely. Can I have a banana shake as well, please? Definitely. Not good for me. Uh, that does look damn good. Ooh, what's inside? Oh, that looks good. Oh. What's inside it? Cheese and pineapple. Oh, it looks good. I'm a bit jealous about that. Oh. Good. Good choice. Mm. Really good cheese. I didn't show you what I had to eat, guys, but oh. these are the remnants of it. <laughs> I just had lemon on my hands and he licked it and went. Who's dog? <laughs> uh. So, this is the dog, guys. I don't know if I told you already, but he's in Los LeBlanc's video when he was a puppy. This is Zion. He's his little troublemaker. He is a naughty dog. He's also got a nice banana shake. I'm happy right now. Until dinner time, of course. Isn't it dinner time now? Should we get some more food? <laughs>